Hello guys, welcome to Filament Daily. I've been analyzing an open source project ERP SaaS, which already I have mentioned in one of my previous videos on this channel, which is a great open source filament example with quite advanced features and customizations. And one of them I want to show you today in the appearance page to customize the appearance of the website. We have two interesting dropdowns. So this, do you know how to implement that in filament? Select make but with colors. And similarly, but a bit differently, choose the font. Do you think it's a simple select? Let's take a look at actual fonts here. As you can see, each value has actually a different font. So how to implement those? The implementation is pretty similar, but quite advanced. And I will show you the code on GitHub. So here it is, select make, primary color, important parts, native, false, so we would be able to override some things, then allow HTML, and we built that HTML on the fly. Sometimes I hate that GitHub does that when I click something, it opens the details, but let's continue. Selectable placeholder, we don't need that. We immediately set the first color as enabled. And then options. Options come not from the database, but from enum class. So that primary color cases is a separate class of enum. So you can see primary color with names here. Potentially you could save that in the database, but in this case it's an enum. And then we play with collection to build the dynamic HTML for each of the select option. So we collect those cases and then map with keys. For each case, we override the value with custom HTML with span, tailwind classes, and background with the color with rounded full and also title case of the value itself. So totally custom HTML with allow HTML method. And similarly with the font. It's a bit simple because the value should be just the same text value with different font family. Font in this case is also an enum class, so you get the main idea. So in general, I wanted to show you that in select for options, you can build your own HTML and not just rely on the text based options from the default select make. What do you think about this example? Have you ever encountered something similar or implemented something similar? Share your experience in the comments below. Subscribe to the channel to get more videos like this one and see you guys in other videos.